Hi guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you guys about this Friendcation eyeshadow palette by Desi and Katie from the Dose of Colors. And as you can see, it has this gorgeous rose gold packaging. Now on the back it does list the names of the shadows. It separates the mattes and the shimmers because it lists the ingredients differently. And this palette is cruelty free, paraben free, and gluten free, which is very, very cool. Now this is the actual palette, you guys. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It just says glamour to me. It's really blinged out and it has this just shimmery, glittery look to it with a beautiful dose of colors, embossment on the front or placard on the front. And on the back, it does list all of your shadows, which I don't like them on the back because it's confusing to me, but it's all good. <laughs> At least it lists the shadow names. Now there is a magnetic closure for this palette. It has a nice size mirror. They do provide you with the plastic covering for the shadows, and these are the colors that you get in this palette. There's some nice warm, neutral matte shades to go along with these beautiful pops of color. These shimmer shades are absolutely gorgeous. As you can see, you get the blue, a nice glittery black shade that has a bit of wetness to it. You get a rose gold, a champagne color, and a beautiful green gold in there, which is called Dirty Money. Very, very pretty. So it's a nice range of shades in this palette. So let's go ahead and get into these swatches, you guys. So first we have Basic, Cheese, and Necessary, Dirty Money, A Moment, Try Me, Just a Kiss, Girl Bye, Churro, and lastly we have Game Over. So these are all of the shadows swatched. The matte shades are nice and smooth and buttery. And the shimmer shadows are like satin. They're really, really silky and they go on amazing. Now the blue shade in here does have a gorgeous purple shift. The black shade with glitter kind of reminds me of a wet asphalt. And the rose gold shades are just absolutely gorgeous. So let's just jump right into this look. I'm going to start out with the shade Necessary. And I'm just placing that on the upper portion of my lid, making sure to blend it out nicely. As you can see, you can't really see it. It's just going to create a nice shade for me to blend my crease work into. Next, I'm going to go into Girl Bye. <laughs> and I'm going to place that into my crease and just blend that out. It's a gorgeous, kind of like a rose toned red shade, but it's not too, too bold. It's just a really nice soft color that can be built up very, very nicely in the crease area. Next, I'm going to go into this color Cheens, which is a nice deep brown shade. And I'm going to use that to deepen my outer corner and just blend that into my outer crease area as well. And these shadows blend very nicely into each other. I really like the mattes in this palette. Now I'm just taking that brush with the leftover shadow and blending out the upper portion of my lid to make sure everything is blended together nicely. And this is what we have. So now I'm going into this gorgeous shade here, which is Game No, Try Me. No, a moment. <laughs> That's why I hate having the names on the back of the palette because it's so hard to figure out which one it is. This one is the shade A Moment. This gorgeous blue shade with a shift of purple. And I'm placing that in the outer corner. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take Try Me. 
and I'm going to place that right next to that blue shade so I can start the gradient look on my lid. I wasn't sure if I preferred it dry or wet, so I went ahead and just sprayed my brush a little bit and blended it into that blue shade. Next, I'm going to go into the shade Just a Kiss, which is this gorgeous, really light champagne gold shade. And I'm just gently blending that into the center color. And I'm kind of taking my time with this, wetting my brush, making sure that the color really pops and that it blends nicely with the other two shadows that I put on my lid. And the way that I blended these colors together, it started giving me like an 80s vibe <laughs> with the pastel look. So I'm just taking my Wet n Wild Black Liquid Eyeliner and creating a nice long wing for this look. felt like this lid really needed a bold wing to go along with this pastel 80s vibe <laughs> eye look. So now that I have my complexion complete, I went ahead and finished my foundation and highlight. And I'm going back into that shade Girl Bye, and I'm just using that to smoke out my lower lash line. And I wanted to add a pop of blue on my lower lash line, but I didn't want to place eyeshadow on my waterline because sometimes it irritates my eyes. So I just went ahead in with my blue eyeliner to add that pop of color. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish off this look with some mascara and I'm using my Rimmel Lash Accelerator Mascara today on my upper and lower lashes. And for my lips today I'm going in with my ColourPop and Ellery Lip Liner to create a bold line. And I'm just kind of blending that out a little bit because I want to use my Too Faced Matte Lipstick. And this one is in the color Queen Bee. And I'm just placing that in the center of my lips so that I can create an ombre effect today. And for a pop of gloss, I'm going in with my Fenty Gloss Balm. And I'm just tapping that on my lips so that I don't disturb the ombre look too much but I do want to add that shine on my lips today. And so this is the final look, you guys. I really like how it came out. It actually didn't come out like I thought I would. It came out a little bit lighter and more of a pastel look than I expected, but I guess the way I blended the shimmer shadows, this is what we have. I can't wait to use that blue all over my lid or even that smoky black all over my lid because I think it will look really really nice but I really enjoyed this palette you guys I think it's beautiful and it kind of makes me feel glamorous to use it so hopefully you enjoyed this look that I created today I would say that this is a great palette to have I'm glad that I purchased it on sale thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one